In terms of whether I had one when I was growing up, I think one of the things that struck me when I hosted recently for LGBT History Month um, the Icons and Allies exhibition is the lack of LGBT role models for me growing up in the 90, 80s and 90s in North Wales. And you know, the only thing I, I look back to kind of think and anything I can remember seeing publicly was as a teenager, the, all the excitement around the Brookside um, first lesbian kiss on, on TV. So there really was a distinct lack of it then. And I think for me, it's really, really important actually having somebody you can identify with in public life because um, visibility is really important because you can't aspire to be what you can't see. Initially what inspired me, which I didn't realise, I was probably one of these people that was politicised by the area and the, the, the age that I grew up in, so growing up in North East Wales in the 1980s, um, an area hit by kind of closures, the job losses in the steelworks, um, shot and closures of the Point of Air colliery and I think what I didn't realise is that that chat I had with my granddad who worked at the steelworks actually made me political without realising. Um, but in terms of kind of women in public life, I think what made me get involved too was actually I saw these things in my community and in the country which I didn't like, that I wanted to change things. And I think you can sit back and complain or chat in the pub with your friends and moan about stuff, or you can step up and do something about it yourself. And I think in terms of women in public life, yeah, we, probably, we still don't have enough. Um, in Wales, we have a proud record in the Assembly of actually you know, being the first legislature to have more women than men in the Assembly. But I think you know, I can complain about the lack of women or I can be prepared to do something about it myself and that's what I hopefully have tried to do. I think it's tough to sum it up in a sentence because everybody's different and people often consider that public life to be standing for election as an assembly member, as an MP, as a councillor. But I think for me, everybody has a contribution to make to their community and to their country. And that could be, you know, that could be getting involved with the local campaign, that could be involved with the voluntary organisation. So there's all different ways that people can get involved in public life, but we can all make a difference and it doesn't have to be, you know, the massive big picture that you might see, the things that we can do locally, which really can change people's lives. I'm incredibly proud to be one of the first out members of the National Assembly for Wales elected last year for the first time. But you know, as an out woman in public life, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm, I'm able to provide expert advice because everybody's different, everybody's unique, um, everybody's experience of coming out, whether professionally, personally or publicly, is unique to them. But I think, I guess what it does mean, I could speak from my own personal experience and with authenticity. And I think, you know, one of the things for me, we have come a hell of a long way in the past few decades on LGBT rights and acceptance, but there are still barriers there to people, that there are still prejudices out there. Um, I think it's really important that, you know, however difficult perhaps, you know, I made a conscious decision as a candidate. Um, I was already out for years to my friends and family and in my work. Actually, it was important that if I was going to say I wanted a new kind of politics and be open and honest, that I was open and honest about who I was as well. And I think you know, one of the things jokes like people say, you think, I think one of the issues is you don't just come out the one time. Coming out, you have to do it over and over again because there is still that assumption, I think, that people are straight. You don't have to come out as straight, but you come out as gay. And I did once joke in the assembly that, like somebody once said about devolution, coming out is more of a process rather than an event. But I think it's important for me to be open and to actually just kind of keep chipping away at those barriers. I'm forever grateful to those people who stuck their head above the parapet when it wasn't actually in much more difficult times. I just hope, you know, today I can play a little bit of a part in actually breaking down those barriers and encouraging more people to get involved in public life. And, you know, just to finish, I think one of the things that really struck me, just a few weeks after I'd been elected, I went to an event in a community where I'd grown up and somebody came up to me and said, oh, I just want you to know what you're doing is incredible. You're an inspiration to some of these children. And I was a bit taken aback and they went on to explain that if there was um, two young lads there who were gay and they'd found out recently on social media that I was and that it made a big difference to them. And I think when I got home that night, it made me quite emotional 
not actually something what they said to me because I hadn't have thought of it like that, but actually, you know, how far we've come since I was their age and I hope, you know, maybe today we can carry on to continue to do that.